BTD6 is a rich game not only gameplay wise, but the developers have made sure to put a lot of interesting easter eggs and references in their game that you guys might not know of. So I've had this video coming for a long time and that time is finally here, so let's talk about things you didn't know about Bloom CD6. I've saved the best for last, so make sure to stick around until the end of the video and to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. The first two things on the list are the Vengeful True Sun God and the Cave Monkey and I know the majority of you have probably heard of them, but I felt like I had to mention these because the game doesn't explicitly say how to get them. You kinda have to play the game and discover them by accident or go on YouTube or Reddit or maybe the Bloons wiki to find out about them, so this is just an honorary mention. Number 2 are gold and black borders for instamonkeys. The first black border instamonkey was achieved about 2 months ago by user Wolfram Paradoxica, with another one to shortly follow after that. And that's that. I don't think we've had any new ones, which shows how hard these are to get on one hand, but also that maybe they weren't legitimate in the first place and people used some sort of farming macros to get them. Number 3 is the developers using a symbol language to drop hints in teasers and we can see some of these symbols across the maps like Adora's Temple, Bazaar and Geert. Now I'm not sure if this is their own original language or it existed previously and they're kinda using it, but it's super cool to see them putting some secrets for us to find. Over time the majority if not all of the symbols have been decoded as well as the text on the different maps. So for example the symbols on Adora's Temple translate to Apex which is the top one, the one on the left says Max, the one on the right says Sun and the bottom one says Dark. On the map Bazaar, the building has a door with a sign on it which reads closed and the symbols on the one above it read KLT Co. There are a couple of symbols on the map Geert which spell Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Number 4 is that Lotus Island and Spice Islands, the maps in BTD6, are actually real life locations. So if we google Spice Islands, it redirects us to Maluku Islands and if we go on Google Maps and search for Maluku Islands, in the north part of Maluku we can see a group of 5 small islands that look just like our BTD6 map, Spice Islands. Similarly to this, the map Lotus Island is based on the continent of Australia, with the lotus flowers being placed on locations of big Australian cities. Shout out to user Burn for the side by side images, with the bottom one being a little distorted to fit the Lotus Island map layout better. And lastly, did you know that a lot of maps contain hints and references to various stuff? So for example movie references. Uh, the map Candy Falls is a reference to the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where in the movie the way that you can visit the Chocolate Factory is by finding a golden ticket, and in Bloom City 6 there is a hidden achievement called Golden Ticket. This achievement can be unlocked by clicking on the different places on the map and playing a song. That song is called the Oompa Loompa song from the same movie. The second one is a very obvious one which is the hidden achievement called Snap of Your Fingers which is a reference to the movie Avengers, where Thanos snaps his fingers and he wipes out half of the universe, and similarly to this in Bloons TD6, to unlock this achievement we need to finish a game with half of our starting cash and half of our starting lives. And on the map Ouch, this is a special Halloween event, if we drain the sewer on it we can see a red balloon below the vent, which is a reference to the movie and novel called It, in which the red balloon is a symbol of Pennywise the Clown who uses it to lure his victims. The maps also contain references to other in-game stuff, so for example Lotus Island has a shield, a sword, a helmet, a treasure chest and a boat, which are references to Odyssey mode that got released in the same update. The map Mesa has drone parts over the map, which is a reference to the hero Etienne, who was released in the same patch. Bazaar has a cat, which is the same cat that is on the Azili Smudge Cat skin. And as a bonus for you guys, which is a theory that I have about the map Four Circles, is that it might be a reference to the Olympic Games, with the map being an Olympic running track, and the name and the layout maybe being a reference to the logo of the Olympic Games. The difference though is that the Olympic Games logo has 5 circles on it which represent 5 continents, but the map name and the layout in BTD6 might be 4 circles because of the 4 monkey types in the game, but that's just my theory and is not confirmed by anyone. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and tell me if I missed something down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.